Throughout my time as being a landlord, I've screened thousands of tenants, folks, and I've made tenant screening videos in the past, and I've made comments about, uh, you know, certain things, certain red flags that landlords should look for, right? And some of those comments involve tattoos, right? I've given landlords advice on avoiding uh, tenants with certain types of tattoos, right? Like I did that uh, tenant screening red flag video uh, where I had talked about face tattoos. And I took a little heat in the comments from that video talking about those tattoos. You had everybody like, oh, I got a tattoo and I'm a good person. Well, good for you, Carol. I got tattoos too, but I ain't trying to rent an apartment building and I ain't trying to teach people how to make sure they can house every human being in the world. I'm here to teach people how to use red flags and possible identifiers to mitigate their risks in their real estate investments. And the truth is, folks, the truth is when you're dealing with tenants, you're screening people who are going to be living in your properties, the tattoos they get can actually tell you quite a bit about them. It could tell you quite a bit about what you could anticipate happening should you rent your property to them, right? This is going to be the first one, folks, the first of many. In fact, I'm about to go over 19 things your tenant's tattoos are going to tell you about renting to them. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise, and I am here for you. I am here to help educate real estate investors, to help you guys become more sophisticated, educated, and most importantly, profitable real estate investors, right? A lot of people will lead you to believe that real estate investing is easy, Real estate investing is just a bunch of free money, this or that. But the reality is the real estate business, it's a tough business, and there's some hard decisions that need to be made. And uh, one of those things that involves hard decisions every day is tenant screening, right? When you're screening tenants, folks, people outside of the real estate industry, they think our job as landlords is to house people. Not exactly. Our job as landlords is actually to deny housing to people who would put an undue risk on our business, put an undue risk on the profitability of our rental properties, right? And one of those things that we can utilize as cues when we're dealing with tenants is uh, their tattoos. Now, some of you keyboard warriors are going to cry. You're like, this is offensive. This is judgmental. This is discriminatory. You're going to cry like little bitches. That's what you're going to do. I know it. I read the comments every now and again, now and again. But guess what? You're right. This is judgmental. This is discriminatory. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, man. Discrimination in real estate, folks, it's a good thing. Now, calm down. I know. I know. I know your brothers, sisters, cousins, uncle. I get it. They're a lawyer. There's certain types of discrimination that are illegal. None of those involve tattoos, and that's what we're talking about today. 19 things your tenants' tattoos are going to tell you about them, okay? And you guys have been looking at this one right here. This is the first of the 19 things that these tattoos are going to tell you about renting, right? This girl, what do her tattoos tell me? My boyfriend is just here for the showing. He won't need to be on the lease. He won't be living here. That bag isn't even yellow. <laughs> I really hope her and her boyfriend are using those condoms. I, what, you tried to say that uh, she should not reproduce? I mean, you know, it's not like uh, her kids are going to be on food stamps or anything. Oh, all right, number two, what does this cat's neck tattoo say? Okay, all right, okay. I'm going to try to bum a square from you at the showing. Yeah, that's a guarantee. No matter what, you show this dude your apartment, he's trying to get a cigarette from you at the showing. Okay. Got this cat right here. He's got the PBR on the neck, right? That's a classic. 
That's a classic. Nothing says there's going to be holes in your drywall like a PBR on the throat, which, by the way, in addition to that, not that visible. I don't know if you guys can see it uh, from here, so if you can't, you're just going to have to believe me, but this dude... Obviously, we got the PBR in the throat, and he's got the the gauged ears here, okay? Regular gauged ear. Uh, this is actually a 20-ounce, uh, like, pop cap lid, right? So you know this cat is classy. The PBR in the throat, bottle cap in the ear. Can't forget all of his bread money he goes to 100 packs of PBR. They're, they're making them at 100 packs now? New just started. <laughs> Damn. You got any of uh, your dumbass tattoos on your jibs? Uh, that was hurtful. As a matter of fact, uh, I am not applying for any apartments, uh, number one. Moving on. All right. I love strippers. Who doesn't, man? Who doesn't love strippers, right? The lovely ladies of the night. Bro, those holes were already in the drywall and I moved in. <laughs> Guaranteed. As a matter of fact, I can almost guarantee you. That is the conversation you're going to have with this guy should you place him in your unit. He's definitely telling you that when he moves out. Now, some of y'all might think that I'm hard, hard on tattoos, and I hate tattoos. That is not the case. I'm just calling it like I see it. As a matter of fact, I think this tattoo right here, this tattoo is an indicator that this particular person is going to be a pretty good tenant, right? What I think this tenant says is, I'm going to pay my rent on time, but I do need you to know I like to party. I like to party. Why did you put this one in here, man? <laughs> this is obviously a, a friggin' cartel member tattoo, dude. Is it a crime scene? <laughs> you told me to put the craziest ideas I could find, and that was what it, it was. I don't, I don't want to make fun of, like, cartel members, dude. I mean, did you not watch Ozark, bro? That is, we're going to, next. Okay, all right. Now, this guy right here, I think a lot of people uh, may get overly judgmental on a guy like this. Admittedly, he does have, you know, more of a shocking appearance uh, than a lot of other people are going to be used to. But, you know, doing this as long as I've done this, I can tell you unequivocally, I believe that this guy will probably be a pretty decent tenant. He is probably going to pay rent on time. Only negative here, and again, you know, could only possibly be a negative, honestly, if, uh, you know, there's like a lot of smells or maybe it's a big multifamily building. But he's he's probably going to have a lot of reptiles. I don't know how you feel about that. And when I say a lot, I mean like a lot. Like like, like more than five. This, this guy reminds me of my friends uh, Alex and Nate. Yeah, your, your boys Alex and Nate, they, they got a snake collection? No, they're virgins. <laughs> Well, I don't think uh, this guy has been in, inside anybody, but people have definitely been inside of him because he clearly eats people. Oh, man, no, this guy. No, these, I've had a lot of tennis like this, man. Uh, dude, they're, they're a little weird, but, you know, they're typically quiet. They kind of go about their day. You know, they don't really like uh, conflict, but I will agree uh, with the notion of uh, the reptile to, to boob correlation, typically the more reptiles you've experienced, the fewer boob touching incidents uh, you've encountered. Uh, but, you know, whatevs. All right, all right. Okay. All right. A little checkered action here. This one's a simple one, folks. Likes meth. You see a guy like this? He's clearly doing meth, all right? Now, this one, about making meth, this one's a good one. I guarantee you, you get a tenant like that, they like Netflix, they got a clean background, they're going to pay their rent on time, man. This tenant right here, this is going to be a responsible person, I can tell. All right, what do these little feet tattoos say? Little sun, little moon action. It's not weed, it's incense. You're hearing that every time you do your inspection. This dude right here, though. It's weed. He ain't hiding it. He don't give a shit. It's always weed, baby. Now this one, right? This, admittedly, is not as much about the tattoo as it really is the whole enchilada, right? You got, you got the money, right? You got the rapper money. You do got the gold, the gold jewelry, the swag, the Jordan jersey. You got the tat, right? But, you know, the Hennessy on the ground says as much about this kid as the tat does. And what it says to me is, should you rent 
your house or apartment to this kid. The application, it's going to say the dog's a mix, but in reality, it's a pit bull, man. It's always a pit bull, right? I know uh, a lot of people who aren't in the real estate business might be watching the show just thinking about how offensive it is, but everybody out there that's actually a landlord or actually has properties, they know damn well it is only ever going to be a pit bull. This kid ain't ever rocking a Yorkshire Terrier, you know what I'm saying? That's, uh, that's my boy, Slim Jesus. Who in the hell is Slim Jesus? He's a rapper. Can't you tell him all that money and Hennessy he's got? <laughs> is this this what the kids your age are listening to these days? Y'all jamming to the, the Slim Jesus? Yeah, he's, he's, he's number one. I feel like he's had less sex than the reptile guy. Probably. <laughs> Slim Jesus. What is this kid, like, what does he rap? Is it like gangster rap? Like, violent rap? Yeah. Violent yeah. rap? Yeah, it's like like a drug, deal, drug dealing rap, like a, a trap rap. Like, oh, okay, so like Fetty Wap rap, but like with less street cred? No, like a Fetty Wap with a lot of guns. This kid and has guns? <laughs> yeah. It, <laughs> it would be like him, but... This it, kid has 14-inch biceps, bro. There is no guns. That's why he needs the guns. <laughs> How old is this kid? Like 20? Yeah, like 20, yeah. Yo, I'm rapping about my guns. I'm in my mom's basement. Anywho, all right, so moving on. What's, what the fuck's his name? Slim Jesus? Yeah, it's... Like, how long, how long has Slim Jesus been around? Not very long. He, he, he was like a one-hit wonder type thing, but it was, the, the one hit wasn't even like... It was more of a funny thing to watch rather than I want to watch this for good music. <laughs> all right, so this, this dude right over here, okay? What does Mr. 420 plus 69 say, okay? What does it say about this guy? It says clearly this guy is not going to pass a background check. Guaranteed, folks. This dude shows up to your showing. He ain't passing no background check. Although this chick, she might pass it. As a matter of fact, she's probably making a lot of money, right? She's paying that rent money with that OnlyFans account, though. But, hey, man, there's a lot of money to be made. We just did that video recently about Rami Chase, OnlyFans millionaire. All right, what we got here? Yes, daddy. A little yes, daddy on the lips. What does that say? My boyfriend was convicted of felonious assault. Absolutely. All right. Got a little, uh, little dick swastika there. Little dick swastika. Uh, Dad, to me, that says I take drinking games serious. Adolf Dickler there. <laughs> Did you really get me? You got me a freaking dick sauce to kind of work with, bro. What do you, what do I pay you for? That's <laughs> creative. <laughs> you asked me the craziest thing, so I made it happen. I, I, like, I'm trying to do a t an educational video about tenant screening, and you got me working with a fucking a dick sauce to cut. A fourth skin right. <laughs> no, bro. Those swastika dicks are clearly all circumcised. Those are. Those are four circumcised. Like, dude, what? I mean, the only explanation for this one is this kid is obviously in the drinking game with his friends, right? Like, if you're a white uh, supremacist, you know, and whatnot, like, you're not getting a dick swastika. Yeah, you agree? It's probably accurate. <laughs> a dick stica? <laughs> a dick stica. All right. Okay. All right, the classic. The classic. Number 16. The teardrop tattoo. Now, this is partly what got me in a lot of heat in that one tenant screening video. I was talking about face tattoos, right? Obviously, I expanded the tattoo realm in this video, but a lot of people were upset telling me, like, I know this one guy with a face tattoo, and he's not a horrible person. Well, good for you, bro. Nobody gives a fuck. In fact, the majority of people with teardrop tattoos, what is that going to tell the potential landlord? It says, hey, man. Run my background, but if murder isn't on the background check, it's because I got away with it, all right? Teardrop tattoos on the face, usually a no-gooder. This chick right here, we got a, li a liberal warrior, clearly, this chick over here. She uh, is not going to like you. You're going to have an adversarial relationship with this chick as your tenant because she thinks capitalism is theft. Right? Tax the rich! That's right. Tax the rich, bro. She is a Bernie, bro, if I ever seen no Bernie, bro. Okay. This cat right here, I do not know if this, it could be a gat, could also be a cell phone, though. I don't know. But I, I will be honest with you, I do rock 
the uh, I've been known to rock the shoestring belt, right? Sometimes you load too many chicken wings, the belly hangs over, really gets gets up in there with the buckle. So I can respect that. But what this guy says to me is, I will spend my rent money on Newport 100s. 100% of the time. That is absolutely happening. Newport 100s will be uh, the downfall of your profitability on said rental with him. And then last but not least, this cat right here. This dude shows up to your showing, folks. What is he going to tell you? He's going to tell you, I will be selling drugs out of your house. And that has been 19 things that your tenants' tattoos are going to tell you about what your experiences will be like when you are renting to them. If you guys have any more, please throw them in the comments below. You'll have to filter through all the liberal warriors who are wildly upset about this. I'm sure there's going to be many tattoos about this cat or that cat who have a tattoo, and it's some wah, wah, wah emotional thing. That's great, folks. These tattoos, though, more often than not, are going to tell the landlord what I just said. And I know this because I happen to run a $75 million rental portfolio. And if anybody out there is watching this, interested in more ticks, tr ah, I can't even talk. I'm st I got the dick swastika on the brain. Like the dick swastika. The dick swastika threw me, dudes. Like, like, what did you fucking Google to get a dick swastika? Uh, dick swastika? <laughs> you didn't Google dick swastika. Don't you lie to me. You wouldn't fucking... Nobody fucking thinks about dick swastikas. What did you Google that came, came that allowed you to end up at dick swastika? Well, I was looking up things for funny dicks, and, uh, well, that popped up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. But that's going to be a wrap for this one, but no seriousness. If you or someone you know is interested in investing in real estate, you're definitely going to want to subscribe here to Holton Wise TV because, all joking aside, uh, we run a $75 million portfolio, and we have been through the thick of things, and we help people like you, everyday people, become real estate investors. We could give you the, ti uh, the tips, tricks, and resources to do it on your own, dick swastika or not. Or if you'd like, you can go one step further. Click the notes below to book a call with my team to talk about investing with us. People who've been through the trenches, who've waded through the dick swastika waters to put real estate portfolios together for people like you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.